Hey everyone, my name is Tony and welcome back to the channel. As an interior designer, you know that timing is everything. And working with SketchUp's default tools can sometimes slow down your workflow. So in today's video, I'm talking about the Sketch Plus features that can help you work faster, more accurately, and help you be more organized with your projects. Let's get started. So after you install Sketch Plus, these are all the toolbars that will come along with the installation. As you can see, you have features for selection, move, materials, building, draw, components, and tags. And they're going to combine for a total of 35 plus features. Now this is really important to have because you only have to install one extension to get 35 tools. It also gives you fewer plugins to manage and it gives you an intuitive and consistent user interface for you to manage your 3D modeling. So I'm going to close all of these tabs and focus on one toolbar at a time. So changing wall materials is a very common task for us interior designers. So if I wanted to change this material, I would have to click into that group, activate the paint bucket tool and change the material. So with Sketch Plus, we have a feature called Deep Paint Faces, which allows you to bypass all the clicks and apply the material directly to the face. So we're going to change that wall color to black. So first thing I'm going to do is select my material, activate the paint faces and click on the face to change the material. Keep in mind that you can also use certain shortcuts to expand on this feature. I can hold alt to pick my material or any other material and I can hold control and click to paint the entire object. As you can see, that is something that can be done very fast rather than going to do the group just to apply one material. So now let's repeat this workflow and change a couple of other materials. So this feature allows you to make fast material updates to your model. As you can see, with a few clicks, I was able to change my wall and floor material to a couple of different finishes. So there are also a couple of very useful features for materials. For example, we have Unpaint All, which allows you to remove all materials for the selected entities. As an example, if I wanted to remove all the materials from this door, I can activate my feature, select my object. And as you can see, not only did it remove the materials from the door, but it also removed from the other component. So you can imagine this being very useful if you want to keep your model free of unwanted materials. It's also just extremely helpful when you want to try out new materials. It's always a good practice to start with a fresh model, but it's also a huge time saver than if you were to reset the materials manually. The other two features is to unpaint faces and edges and unpaint groups and components. So they basically do the same thing, but for more specific selections. So the next example where Sketch Plus can be very useful is in the scenario where we want to showcase two furniture pieces. For example, I have two sofas and I'd like to replace this into the other. Now the first tool to make sure this is done correctly is the change axis. And as you can see, the location of the axis is in different locations for both components. Right? So if I was to swap this, chances are it wouldn't be correct. So enable to get this correct we need to match both axes in the same location. So I'll highlight this sofa, select change axis, and we're going to pick this as a new point. So now when we swap components, everything falls right into place. Another feature that's part of our components tool is component finder. So this is a list of all the components that are in my model. So if I wanted to, I can select one and place it into my SketchUp file, but I can also search for components that are saved in my computer. For example, I have a folder here for my minimal lights. So if I select this light, for example, it comes in groups of three. So now that we have this here, all I really have to do is bring it into my space and get rid of that component. So this is a really great tool for managing your components. So next we have a mirror function or feature which allows you to 
mirror objects in SketchUp. So this is a very useful feature and can come in very handy in situations like this. For example, if I wanted to mirror these chairs onto the other side, I will select my objects. Let's pick the center point of the table, flip this on the red axis. So when I click, they go onto the other side. And if I want it, I could do the same for this chair, going to the center. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to lock plane to axis and click to mirror your object. And as you can see, we easily mirrored more chairs onto this table. So as you can see, these tools are very useful for an interior settings, but there are a lot of other features that you can definitely explore, such as smart and path array, random spin, random scale, random position and explode. So feel free to explore these powerful features. So another tool you'll really come to appreciate with Sketch Plus is its selection tool. And it has so many functions that it can fit all of your selection needs. For example, if I select my entire model, I can go to filter selection. And here we can select from different attributes. If I want it, I can filter out my components and I can either pick to select only the components or to deselect them from my selection. So if I pick the select, all of my components are now excluded from this selection. Likewise, if I wanted to filter the components from this selection, I would choose select only. So now all my components are selected. And similarly, you get to do this for faces, edge groups and image text dimensions. So everything that you have in your model. The next tool is select lasso. This allows me to make a custom shape around my model. It's very freehand and whatever is stuck or is caught within this shape will be my selection. And you can also hold down control to add to your selection. Next, we have polygon lasso, which pretty much does the same thing with the exception that instead of being more freehand, you get more of a straight line to make your shape. Next is a personal favorite, deep select, and that lets me select any face in my model. And once I select that face, it bypasses all of the groups and it gets me in to edit that face. So it's a real time saver. So it's a fast way to get inside groups and it saves you a lot of time. Next, we have selection painter. Again, it selects everything that it touches. I will hold shift control to subtract. And once again, I can deselect everything that it touches. Next, we have select all instances, which again is a very useful selection tool. If I pick my chair, Yep, I can select all instances and it will select the rest of all the other copies. And lastly, all the selections that we've made have been recorded. So you can press this icon to access previous selections. As well as you can restore selections. So this is basically like undo and redo for selections. So next we have a couple of move tools that can really change the way you move 3D objects inside of SketchUp. For example, we have the nudge tool. I can select this entire table set. So nudge lets you move selected objects. So if I activate the tool, I can now use the arrow keys to move all of these objects at a discrete interval. So every time I tap an arrow key, the object moves one inch in the preferred direction. And as you can see right here, I can actually change this. Suppose I want to move this to four inches, I can change that value. And now we're moving this a little bit faster. So very useful feature. Another very useful tool is the align tool. For example, if I select these four objects here on the table and activate align, 
you can see we get this bounding box around the four objects and now i can align those objects in the direction that i want for example here is the left side of the red axis and i can align the other two to the right side of the red axis similarly in the green axis as well as on the blue axis so once again another very useful feature And lastly, we have tags. We have untag all, untag faces and edges, and untag groups and components. So basically, it's a way to manage your tags and remove tags from your selected object. So if I take a look at my tag list, I have lighting fixtures, furnitures, and doors and walls. So the first feature is untag all, which removes all the tags from all selected entities. So if you pay attention, when I select these objects, you can see that these are on the decor layer. The tables on the furniture as well as the sofa so i'm going to select untag all and now you see that all the objects are represented by the colors by tag so now i can start to click any of these objects to untag them so let's untag the sofa as well as the table as you can see, Sketch Plus offers over 30 plus features for all of your interior design needs. So let us know in the comment section which one is your favorite feature. As always, check the description for any useful links. Follow us on other social media platforms and I'll catch you guys in the next video.